I was 26 when I got diagnosed with, you know, congestive heart failure and cardiomyopathy. It was back in 2002, I had my daughter, Eniche, at seven months. She weighed two pounds, eight ounces. I had preeclampsia and almost had a stroke. So I had to deliver her early. Fine that dad doesn't have an appetite or anything like that. And I just felt like shortness of breath. It felt like it was like water around my heart. I can hardly like breathe. It felt like I was underwater. That's what it felt like. Well, at the time I was with my daughter's father and I was telling him, I said, I can't hardly breathe. Even like laying down, this felt like, again, I was underneath water. So that's when he took me to the emergency room and they ran all different types of tests on me. And they found out that I had dilated cardiomyopathy and congestive heart failure. So I have two different types of heart diseases. Well, when she first came, um, she wasn't really sure about what heart disease was, how it would impact her life. She felt very um, depressed about what life meant for her as a heart patient. And we worked together to help her understand that you can live a very fulfilled life mm -hmm. with heart disease. And she has gone on to um, help other people and try and improve their lives. I started Googling support groups and I ran across Women Heart Savannah. Women Heart Savannah is great. I finally found how to live and deal with this disease. Women Heart, they make it fun living with the disease because we get to travel, we get to meet different women with the disease and find out different ways you can live with it. So that's a good thing about it. I started Women Heart Hinesville. In fact, I had the kickoff celebration Saturday. I started it because of the lack of support and education here in Hinesville for women. And being that I'm an eight year survivor, I felt, you know, I was good enough to start it and people can learn from me different ways to live with it. And we're really working hard to get the message out that heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. And many women think that it's just men. And also we, we're trying to hit women because women are the gatekeepers for the family. They are the ones that cook, they're the ones that encourage outside activities, social events, and all of that's really important when you're trying to combat heart disease because you look at the body as a whole and um, the heart's the center of it. Women, please get checked. I mean, it's very simple. And listen to your bodies. I was 26 when I got diagnosed with, you know, congestive heart failure and cardiomyopathy. You know, take your health more serious. It can happen to anyone at any yes, age. Yes, any age is, it does not discriminate against your color, race, age, gender, anything. It does not. St. Joseph's Candler, the region's leader in technology.